When we speak, we build words and phrases from smaller flexible elements like syllables. We must not only select the right sounds, but also plan the mouth movements that correspond to them, which we call motor plans. Oftentimes, to say a word, we must pull together several unique sounds and motor plans into a complex sequence. Speech motor sequencing refers to the coordination of these motor plans. Traditionally, this process was attributed to Broca's area, but recent studies have shown that damage to Broca's area does not cause errors related to speech motor sequencing, leaving open the question, what part of the brain implements this important process? We recorded neural activity from patient volunteers who were being treated for epilepsy at UCSF. As a part of their treatment, high-density arrays of electrodes are placed directly on their brain, allowing us to record neural activity while they were speaking strings of syllables with varying complexity. Participants first saw a sequence on the screen, then waited for a go cue to say that syllable sequence out loud. Baraga. Three main features would suggest that a neural population is recruited to coordinate sequences of motor plans. Activity that began prior to the onset of speech, correlated with the complexity of the sequences, and correlated with the time it took participants to speak their sequences. Some areas, like Broca's area, only met one or two of the criteria. However, a region in the precentral gyrus met all three of these criteria. We call this region the middle precentral gyrus. The electrode arrays used also allowed us to stimulate the brain as a part of routine pre-surgery mapping and directly test if a temporary disruption to the middle precentral gyrus could cause speech motor sequencing errors. Stimulating the middle precentral gyrus caused speech errors during complex speech sequences, like the word interjection. Interjection. For example, the participant might say parts of the syllable incorrectly. Interjection. Elongate syllables or add extra space between syllables. Together, these results demonstrate that the middle precentral gyrus plays a central role in speech motor sequencing, bringing us closer to understanding how we speak.